Language Notes, Topic 13, Using Words with Gender. When I was growing up, we had a mailman. He wore a uniform and he drove a mail truck to deliver our mail. Today, postal workers often go around town in their street clothes. We can identify them because they're wearing an ID tag and they're carrying mail, either in a big bag or some official vehicle of the United States Post Office. A truck, a van, a car. Also today, there are plenty of women doing the job. For that reason, we have the word mail carrier. Mail carrier can refer to a man or a woman. There are other words like this in English. Let's talk about these gender neutral words, as well as words that have remained masculine and feminine. Let's start with some familiar gendered nouns in English. I'll say a masculine word, you say the feminine equivalent. For example, if I say man, you say woman. And then we'll try to think of the word or words we can use to refer to two or more of these people together. In the case of man, woman, we can say people, adults, grown-ups. Let's move on. Boy, girl, children, father, mother, parents, grandfather, grandmother, grandparents, brother, sister, siblings. Do you know that word? Siblings. Husband, wife, spouse. One spouse, or we can talk about spouses. Spouse refers to someone you're married to. Okay, what else can we do? Son, daughter, children, nephew, niece. We'll just say nephews and nieces together. Also in English, we only have one word to refer to cousin. A cousin can be a boy or a girl. How about uncle, aunt, or we can say aunt, 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 two pronunciations in American English. Again, to refer to two or more, we simply say uncles and aunts, aunts and uncles. I thought of a few more, boyfriend, girlfriend, that was easy. How about fiance? Also, fiancé or fiancé with two E's. Here's one, hero, heroine. As a group, we can talk about heroes. Similarly, god, goddess. Or we can talk about gods, like the ancient gods. There were gods and goddesses. As a group, gods. All right, let's move into royalty. King, queen, and their children, prince, princess. As a group, we can talk about rulers or royalty. How about emperor, empress, duke, duchess? If we talk about occupations, jobs that people do, it becomes a little more complicated. On the one hand, we have job titles for which there have always been gender neutral nouns, words that can refer to a man or a woman. For example, doctor, lawyer, engineer. On the other hand, there are jobs for which we have masculine and feminine words. 
And although these words may still be in use in American English today, there is a growing tendency, a growing preference for a gender neutral equivalent. Here's an example, waiter, waitress. Both words are still used, but we also now have the word server. Server can be a man or a woman. If we're in a restaurant and you're sitting at the table, I might walk up and say, hello, I'm Jennifer, I'll be your server tonight. I'm identifying myself as your server. Here are some other ones. Salesman, saleswoman, salesperson, salesperson. Similarly, delivery man, delivery person, policeman, policewoman, police officer, fireman, firefighter. Can you think of others? Here's the last group of my examples. Actor, actress, and as a group, actors. Although you will hear some actresses identify themselves as an actor. The two words are still in use today though. Actor, actress, actors. Also in entertainment, we have comedian, Comedian. You don't hear that one as much. Comedian can actually refer to a man or a woman, but there is one noun that is definitely gender neutral. Comic. A stand-up comic. Someone who performs on stage by telling jokes. All right, let's move to the business world. Who leads or chairs a committee? We can talk about a chairman or a chairwoman. But there's also that gender neutral equivalent, chairperson. How about the person who organizes a dinner party or just a regular party? It could be a host or hostess. Host can actually refer to a man or a woman, but we definitely have a feminine equivalent. Host, hostess. Together, your hosts. You definitely will use the word host for media. For example, a radio talk show host, a TV talk show host. All right, final one. This is important for all of you who do traveling. On a plane, who helps passengers? In the past, we often talked about a stewardess who did that job, stewardesses, plural. There actually is an equivalent, a masculine equivalent, steward, steward, stewardess. But today, almost always, you will hear the word flight attendant. If you followed along, you likely picked up some of the patterns. These patterns will help you recognize and form other nouns, plural nouns, masculine and feminine nouns. Let's see. What's the feminine equivalent of grandson? Granddaughter. And what's the plural if we have grandsons and granddaughters together? Grandchildren. Now, what's the feminine equivalent of heir? Someone who inherits a fortune. Heiress. And what's the feminine equivalent of businessman? Businesswoman. And together, what group do they form? Business people. See how easy it is? That's all for this lesson. Thanks for watching and happy studies.